Alright, hi. Welcome back to the Four Job Fiesta. I'm Jove. And, um, yeah, so one thing I want to note right now is, um, I'm not going to open the world map because it's a fun little surprise for the LP I'm going to keep under wraps. Um, but yeah, you notice I'm just kind of walking around here. There's no random encounters at all right now. Um, yeah, I could, I could walk all over the place and be fine. But uh, instead, we're just going to do this totally, absolutely playable epilogue and nothing else here in Castle Tycoon. And for no reason in particular, I'm going to um, remove a couple of things. Let's... Hmm, what do I want to do in the meantime? You know, Frost Rod is fine. Okay. Just for, for no reason in particular, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Just just don't worry about it for right now. And so the Chancellor wishes to speak to us. Yeah, we kind of went to another planet without saying anything. <sighs> and of course the Chancellor uh, recognizes Ferris as the other missing princess. Is already abreast of the fact that King Tycoon has passed away. And um, yeah, and I have water. For the first time in like four parts of recording, I have water. Um, probably the most important part of all. And now we get a banquet! With Princess Lena in normal traveler attire, and Princess Sarisa in that actually really cool outfit that I kind of wish was just a thing. Also, Bart's ex Ferris, I actually pretty heavily ship <laughs> because why not? Bart, I think you're blushing. Kryle, I think you should maybe shut the heck up. Anyway. Dancing. Yeah, so yeah, just this totally playable epilogue and nothing else. Absolutely nothing else. Everything is fine forever. And of course, sad Kryle because... Because, yeah. Bye, sad Kryle. We wave and then lower our heads and bow and stuff. And then if we go here, oh no! Whoops. So I'm just gonna interject here. No, no, okay. Can I do that here? No. You're gonna do a new dance where you face backwards. Last for three days. You're with your date, sir. Unless, unless she's cool with that. I don't know. Consenting adults and all that. And, okay, yeah. You can't talk to the princesses. And, uh, yeah, not much else to really do. I could go talk to Kral right this second. Not going to right this second. Okay, that's, that's a rum. I can go here, so I can say... Okay. Just, just say multiple things? Okay, no. So, yeah, okay. Not much else to do but uh, move forward, I guess. What happens if I just try and leave on my own? I bet I can, though. I bet it doesn't do anything but waste time, so you know what? Let's just go ahead and progress. This is a breather episode, kind of. And Kryle rejoins our party of us at the moment. And yeah, we can't really do much for them too, but uh, we'll be on our way. Yeah, they can't exactly slip away their kind of royalty and now have responsibilities that they can't escape from. a drink of water so some of my steps were not at running speed. I don't apologize at all. Hydration is important. Stay watered, or however I used to say that. Oh no, it's a soldier! He crashed into us! Bridge of the West River is complete. Well, let's go check it out. Prize Chocobo and best friend. 
You little... Child dodge. Child kick. She kicked him in the next week. She's also a Dragoon, so... Yeah. Right, again, there are no random encounters for like a hot minute, which is fortunate. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and save. So yeah, if I wanted to, I could switch around jobs, uh, fiesta rules. As long as I use a fiesta job, it's fine. I don't think I need to. It'll be fine. Um, yeah. I might with, uh... You know, I might later, but, you know, it doesn't matter right now. Okay, so we're at a choke point. Actually, no, we're not. Never mind. I misread. I know literally nothing happened, but I'm gonna save just in case something happens in this total playable epilogue and nothing else. It's Boko! Qua And of course she speaks Chocobo because she speaks animal. And it's that female Chocobo that we didn't see back on the island with Katobopas. And her name is Coco. And Boko already knows and you know what? We're gonna have a Chocobo friend. Chocobo inherited the crit. No, I'm joking. It would be great. Goko has little ones on the way. Boko worked fast in the time that the worlds were just kind of reunited. But like, it's actually a happy, loving Chocobo relationship, so you know what? No complaints. Chocobo wing wave! Chocobo wing wave! I think that's just adorable. So, with Boko, we actually have no random encounters, as per rules of being on a chocobo. Like, they're sacred. And, uh, we have... Yeah, we can travel along rivers. Hey, look, it's a big bridge! What a big bridge that is. Huh. Reminds me of the big bridge back in Calif's world. Oh, well. Um, so instead I'm going to wander around this way. Around Castle Tycoon. And through a river here, which does nothing. And there's another river, which does something. I think I'm going the right way anyway. Hey, look, it's that cave. Hey, look, it's the Torna Canal. I'm starting to remember where places are and stuff. Nothing is out of place at all. Everything is fine forever, always. Uh, I'm gonna save if it... it okay, it's not gonna let me. Oops, I did not mean to show that. I did not mean to do it a second time. I am like... You know, whatever, you get the idea at this point, and people who've played the game before get the point. You're gonna get the point in a minute anyway, in this video. I wanted to save because that was a choke point, but not the choke point. Hey look, Tool Village! I remember that. Okay, so that's where a thing happens. You know what, I just saved five seconds ago, it's fine. We're at a choke point! Oh no, Earthquake! Plop. Getting bit right so fast. Chocobos go fast. That's kind of their deal. It's not Boko's fault. Sad Bards. Uh oh. Here it comes. It look. We're gonna go ahead and jump. We're gonna have go and protect. Oh god, Discord. Oh, lovely. Luckily, this boss is kind of a nothing potato. Oh. Hmm. Not much to do it, but just, you know. Okay, there we go. There's a critical attack for 330. We're in business. Okay, sap is up. Yeah, it's 
typical FF4 antlion kind of boss. Well, Bart's does no damage because Discord, my favorite status ailment afflicting attack ever in the entire freaking... I'm just gonna high potion yourself at this point. You are literally gonna do nothing in this battle. Just don't Discord Cryle at this point, that's all I care about. Look, a critical for 100. That is useful. I have to crit with Bards to do damage now. Just gonna high potion self again. There's nothing to block Discord ever, by the way. How are you not dead? That's, like, actually my question to the universe right now. What if I die in res, it would fix it, maybe? I am at one-eighth the level I started with. I'm like level four or something right now. How are you alive? This is insane. I think a crit wouldn't even do damage at this point. I wonder if Lazara would even do anything. Nope. That was Lazara, not even Blizzard. How are you alive? This is... I want to get way farther than this in this video. Okay, good, it wasn't Cryo. It's kind of the strat is wait for Cryo to do things. I am at 1 32nd of my level at the moment. There's literally nothing Bites can do. Okay, yeah, bye! Great, just great. I don't think it's great at all. Qua. So now we just kind of, this is our life now. Game over. So we beat X-Death, we saved the world, and now we went to live in a monster's den forever. Game over. It's been fun playing video games, friends, but this is the end of Final Fantasy V. What is a rope? Well, it's not that. Whatever it is. Ah! Oh, surprise Pikachu face. Ah! Uh. And... Run, jump off the chocobo, and plop. Don't know what we pulled, mysterious stranger. And of course, Chocobo first. Yeah, hop, 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 hop. It's Ferris. It was Bart's decision. Nope. It was Kryle's decision. Nope. Swing me hard on you. Yeah. Nervous head rub thing. Not cut out for being a princess. Yep. I mean, you live your entire life a certain way for so long, you know? Makes sense to me. Sad Ferris. Jump scare Ferris! Comedy aside, we're gonna be getting on our merry way. Oh no! Kryle has a splinter! Well, it's not plot important at all. We'll never have to worry about that ever again. It's fine. Ferris, rejoin the party! Forever! For real this time. Okay, and now we have a ranger back. That's good. I'm going to save because that boss was actually kind of low-key really obnoxious. Um, I'm gonna continue on, because, yes, really, there's a cave here. What does this cave do? Alright, uh, this is this cave. This is a cave that's pretty important to cavedom. And, um, where we learn the truth about splinters, and so on. Yeah, this is my only option. Okay, so into the cavey cave, cave cave, we go.
Okay, this looks like Sage Guido's place of all things. How weird is that? Oh no, Sage Guido! And you're upside down! Ah, uh, you just threw a turtle. Good job, Barts. Good job. I suppose it can be helpful at all. Two worlds merging! Hey, Rue. Something I'm thinking for. It's an ancient legend. Never mentioned it was true. Any legend? A thousand years ago, Barts' world and Cryo's world were one and the same! It's quite the echo. Echo! Metal Gear! The world split to seal the void. Void. One thousand years ago, there existed a presence of the strongest evil, Enuo. Enuo possessed the power to control the void. After a long and harrowing battle, the people were able to defeat Enuo with the twelve legendary weapons. However, the void that Enuo had created could not be erased. As a last resort, People split the crystals into two, to maintain balance, the world split into two as well. The void was sealed within the space between the two worlds, the interdimensional rift. So X-Death wasn't lying, he wanted to return the world to how it used to be. Without the crystals, the elemental power is still kinda hecked. But that's not a splinter at all! It's X Death! Turned himself into a tiny splinter. Why did you have to disguise yourself as a splinter to wait for this moment? You could exposit us yourself. Although I guess we wouldn't have believed you, but still. But his goal is the void. And I keep saying void like that, play Dissidia. X-Death is gonna take control of the void. I'm probably only gonna do that for this episode and probably the last. I'll say void normally afterwards. And X-Death is gonna take control of the void. Not a chance, did yet. Yeah, it's still pretty curb stompy. Herp. Zap. Oh no, Guido! Catch! Sweet catch! Zap. 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 That flash step, though. Time for your visitor to see the light of day, now die count two! Literally word for word. Turtle tackle! Turtle! Look at that flash stepping, this is like a shonen anime. Holy localization, Batman. Also, how does Xeth know what pizza is, besides being like a very powerful sorcerer with like very near limitless knowledge? Also, how is pizza a thing? I think you've said that before too. Flash step. Well, we got whisked away somewhere. Just the library, the ancients.
We don't know how important it is. It was a dungeon. It was a pretty cool dungeon once. It's pretty important, actually, because you can learn level 5 death there first. Also, we're just walking in here. I had no control over that. Sage Guido and Scholars from Surgate Castle. The second half of the sealed tome, so I never really... I think I alluded to it, like, once when I came through here the first time, the half of a tome thing. The second half was in, uh, Surgate. Well, technically, the first half, according to the Surgate Scholars, was, um, there, and the second half was here, but yes. Strategy meeting. Military Scholars. The Void is trying to break free from where it has been sealed within the Rift. All incredibly evil and strong, yep. Legendary weapons used to defeat the Warlock Enduo. Unfortunately, most of them are kind of bad and I'm not getting all 12. Just, spoiler alert right now, people watching this Let's Play, this is not a 100% run, this is a Fiesta. You want a 100% run? Um, then demand it, and I will do a non-Fiesta shackled post-game of stuff I missed. But if you think I'm going through an entire dungeon of damage floors with really annoying mobs and a really, really, really god-awful boss with no AoE, no. So, just saying. They are weapons. They are legendary. There are even 12 of them. That's what happens when you do a direct translation. So now we combine the two halves of one book, and they magically just, like, actually combine. I would like to note that I played FF7 before this as a youngster. Um, so that first little bit there reminded me an awful lot of uh, one of Sephiroth's themes. But yes. Castle Kuza, that place with the shield dragons? Yeah. One rests alongside spirits of the past, blessed by the soil. One rests with an island shrine, kissed by wind. One rests beneath the ocean's floor, engulfed by flames. One rests beyond the river's thorns, protected by water. The ultimate spells of white and black, magic, time, and space, meteor, sea king, leviathan, and dragon king, Bahamut. Yeah, so where all of the really cool stuff is, yeah, yeah. I'm going to be doing some of the side quests, even though most of them are not relevant to me, because um, they do unlock things. Things that I would like to do, so yeah. We're all counting on you. Good luck. Even you, Bards, yeah. So, first and foremost, I'm gonna heal, then I'm gonna save, and then we're gonna pick this back up next time. Yep, game ain't over yet, friendos. We still got some video game left of us. But that's going to be for the next time time, so have a wonderful evening, everyone. Love your faces, and peace.